What's up, YouTube? It's Donica or Nika or Nika Bunny or Nika Bunny Sings, whatever you want to call me that isn't so offensive that it would subtract years from my life. And today we are going to be doing the pay to play challenge. So basically what this is, is that every single door costs money to go through. And we also have money equals power and sack of pennies. So you start with 50 cents, you drop money whenever you complete a room. And if you run out of money, you die. So I just figured it would be fun to do a challenge today. And we're doing it lazy mat man style. We have no camera today. I'm not feeling well. I haven't been having a good day. I barely slept. I worked all day. I'm very tired. I could give you a number of reasons why I don't want my camera on, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to not put a video out, so I'd rather just chill out today. I hope you guys understand, um, but I'm still here. You can hear my voice podcast style. Uh -huh. Pretty cool, right? Um, I hope you guys are doing very well. I hope that life is treating you well. Happy Tuesday. I hope that you're healthy and happy and doing the things that are going to bring you joy. I hope the content has been eating, hitting. I hope you've been loving it. I'm thinking about what I want to do next on the channel that isn't just Isaac related, but I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to do cooking. I don't know if I want to talk about something interesting and do sort of a video essay type style. I'm thinking of thunking. I'm thinking about it. This is going to be very helpful. We're going to try to get as much money as we can, and I'm not going to take too many shop items unless it's really, really, really worth it because I do want to obviously keep the money because it is my life juice. I didn't originally have the AC on, but I quickly realized it was just way too goddamn fucking hot for that shit, so I turned it on. I also didn't realize that I had a devil deal on this floor. I don't know if that's every single floor or if it's an XL floor, uh, but I'm big sad that I lost it. I don't think we've done this challenge on the channel. I'm very sorry if we have. I'm pretty sure we haven't, honestly. Uh, I don't think I've done this challenge. Yeah, it was an XL. Shit. I don't think I've done this challenge in forever. So I'm pretty sure that we're good. We're safe to do it. But if if we aren't, I'm sorry. Um, it's it's hard to remember at this point. Uh, fuck Libra. Genuinely, I hate that item. Uh, it's hard to remember at this point, especially because I'm already like well over 100 episodes in now. Which, I don't know how the fuck the Northern Lion... Northern Lion... Guys, why do I always say Northern Lion? That's just, like, actually not his name. Okay, the cars? Fuck. Every time. I swear to God, there were not these loud-ass fucking cars. So we already have... I wonder if this would be... If it would just add an extra coin? It is nice right now that the poops have a chance to add a coin, but I would imagine that would be even more helpful. We shall see. Um, I don't understand how Northern Lion or Sinvicta or Huts fucking follow along, dude. I have to get better at finding... That scared me. Like, I was like, why is the boss not there? I understand you have to pay for it, but why was there no door? Like, that was throwing me off, genuinely. Um, get the fuck away from me. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? I didn't see that it was two bosses. I forgot that it was an XL once again. Like, that fast, by the way. We had just discussed it being an XL, and I had just went ahead and fucking completely forgot. Because I'm a silly bitch. Um, but yeah, I gotta get better at keeping up, and I want to find more mods. So if you guys have any fun mod suggestions, please let me know. I did get a devil deal, which is dope as hell. We're gonna go into it, the show. Uh, this sucks really bad, and now we're locked in. So that's fine. We're gonna move on. But I do want to start doing more mods. For some reason, I have an exorbitantly hard time finding them. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I'm just technologically impaired and not good at figuring shit out. Um, sometimes I just do the mods that other people have done because they're fun and they look good, but I don't want to rely on that. I don't want to just take the mods that other people find. That feels weird to me. I mean, we're all going to do the same mods if they get popular, but you know what I'm saying, right? So... Let me know what you like to see. Let me know if there's any mods that you really love. You can always put it in the Discord suggestions. Whatever you want to do, I will write them down and have a list going. Um, um, we'll take a blue heart. We don't want to take too much because our damage is going to go down. But we're going to take that. and we're gonna, we're, I'm going to try to get a different fucking card. All right, the fool is at least better because I can teleport with that bitch. If I want to steal an item from Boss Rush, if I make it in time, I already have the fool on deck. Uh, the fucking flying one was fine. I'm sure there's going to be something I'm going to want that will require flying now that I've given it up. But I feel like the fool is better. God damn. Uh, I've been losing my money. The mental health tip of the day, you guys. I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start trying to put it on the screen for you so that you can look at it too. So you can really internalize that bitch. Advocate for yourself. In any way that you need to advocate for yourself. Don't 
sit and watch yourself uh, be spoken over, be trampled over, not listened to, not getting adequate care or mental health care or medical care that you deserve and need, adequate treatment from your family and friends. Advocate for yourself wholeheartedly as though you are advocating for those without a voice, whose voices are not heard or those who cannot speak for themselves. And of course, a fucking 18 wheeler is passing right now. If you don't advocate for yourself, you're accidentally sending the message that other people can do what they want to you, with you, for you, or about you, and you're not going to say anything about it. Is that shitty? Yes. And is it their fault for being a shitty person and taking your lack of advocacy or your lack of confidence or your fear to stick up and stand up for yourself as an excuse to treat you poorly? Yeah, they suck, and you might not want that person in your life in general. However, people a lot of the time don't realize that what they're doing is walking over boundaries or taking advantage of somebody or doing something that they wouldn't usually do otherwise because they feel like they can get away with it. Advocating for yourself protects you, it protects people around you, and it keeps your boundaries firmly in place. Uh, I think it's a great skill to start working on and hone in because it's very, very, very hard to do. I mean, I don't have any... Why didn't that work? Why didn't it bring me to the item room? what the fuck i have a really hard time advocating for myself and i'm not gonna lie i struggle with it often i mean i don't always make my voice heard especially in places where i feel like i don't belong or i'm not going to be taken care of in the sense not that i need people to take care of me but like in the regular basic human sense sorry that was that sounded really spitty i don't know why i did is this an xl oh is every floor an xl interesting i didn't realize that um but yeah, it's hard to do, but it's a great skill to work on. I will say that over time, I have definitely begun working on that skill to try to hone it in and make sure that I let people know that the things that I say are to be listened to. About me, obviously. You don't need to listen to me for fucking everything. I'm not, you know, I don't know, Morgan Freeman or somebody you listen to. Why did I, Why was it the first one I thought of? Like, why him specifically? I mean, we do listen to Morgan Freeman. He's cool or whatever, I think. I don't know, actually, know much about him. But he does cool shit, right? He's a icon. He's a classic. But why did I pick him? Like, I feel like there are a lot of other motherfuckers I would listen to before Morgan Freeman. So that was random. Anyways, Sidney Portier. Oh no, he just died. That's right. Mm. Um, ugh, I'm forgetting his name now because I said Sidney Portier. Um, I keep thinking of Charles Vandross. Who the fuck? It's first of all, it's Luther Vandross. I made that shit the fuck up. Oh, Denzel Washington. Who the fuck is Charles? Can someone explain that to me? Who the fuck is Charles? Because that shit was random as hell. Guys, I'm really hoping my editing software actually works today. I am so sorry about the random ass fucking glitches and shit that's been going on. I have no idea why that's been happening or what even has been happening. I think it has something to do with my DaVinci. Um, I didn't get a chance to reset it. I was out all day today, so I'm gonna try to triple check that everything goes well, so the video will be a little late, obviously, because I'm like gonna have to comb through my already edited video, which obviously takes time. Fuck the truck. It's insane how loud it is constantly. Fuck you. But um, we're gonna try to get it fixed. I had like a fucking minute and a half of silence in my video the other day, and I think it just completely deleted a clip. Usually that's where the preview is, which takes time for me to edit out anyways, because I got to pick one, and I'm not good at editing, and then they just deleted that bitch, and I was like, that's so trash, like, and it's so weird, DaVinci Resolve's a great editor, I've had no issues with it, um, so I don't know what's going on, I don't know if the video is just getting corrupted when it's being, um, rendered, or what's going on, but I'm gonna try to hopefully make sure that today's video is okay, and it just works as intended, and you guys get good quality content, I don't want you to feel like I don't care, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I was hoping it was just user error, but then yesterday I had a random giant space in there and I was like, okay. So, do I not get item rooms? I'm gonna walk all the way over there just to check. I don't thunk I do at this point, but I'm not sure. I'm also gonna bomb this guy because we could get a little bit of a higher deal. Never mind, I must have already done that. So yeah, thank you for your patience and understanding. I don't know why it's messing up, but I promise you that we are trying to fix it. Um, and editing snafus are the worst for me because I am simply not technologically savvy in the slightest. And so when shit fucks up, I get really frustrated really easily because I already don't know what I'm doing and we'll definitely have to bring in help to figure it out. So 
Um, all right, well, we don't get an item room, so that's something I completely forgot about challenges, is that 99% of the time you're not getting an item room. There are some where you do, where you get one every other floor or something, but I just completely forgot that that's not, like, a given. That's all right, we're gonna body the fuck out this bitch, and we're gonna go from there. Guys, I gotta say, man, life lately has been incredibly difficult, incredibly lonely, hard, challenging, scary, confusing, concerning, and anxiety-ridden. And I hope you know that even if it's showing in the content, even if I seem a little off or a little more quiet, I love you all so unbelievably much. My YouTube channel brings me a sense of joy that nothing else in my life really does. Even on my worst days, like today was a horrible day. I couldn't even get through doing any sort of semblance of anything without crying. It was, it was a messy, messy day, you know? But I love y'all. I completely forgot it was a fucking double floor. I thought I was going into the devil, angel, devil thing. Why am I getting so confused? Like, I think it's because I can't see the doors and I clearly have the objects per- Object per I can't even speak, bitch. I clearly have the object permanence of a four-year-old. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? It's an XL, bitch. It's gonna be an XL every time. Very clearly, you gotta go to the other boss. God damn, god damn. I hate the bonies. They're so fucking annoying. All right, looks like we did get the devil deal, which is fantastic. We're definitely gonna take a fame. We're definitely gonna take brimstone bombs. Uh, I don't really want blood oath. I don't think it's worth a heart. And on we go. But anyways, if it's showing, if I seem a little more quiet or tired, if I look a little more tired, guys, I still care about you deeply. I love my channel. I want it to grow. I've just been under immense, immense, immense stress. Um, having some weird health things going on and unsure of what my future is going to look like, struggling deeply with money and just to even afford bills and things. I don't want to complain. There are so many things going on, uh, so many con conflicts in the world that are so important. So I don't want you to think that I'm like, woe is thing me here. I just, I want you guys to know that I have a ton on my plate, but I still love you all. I love my YouTube channel. It's just been an expensive, tiring, hard, scary month back-to-back -back job rejections, just things that are absolutely spirit-breaking. But what do I always tell you guys? We're gonna get through it, we're gonna do it, we're gonna get through it. Like, you're gonna be okay, I promise. You have to keep believing in yourself, even through the hardest of moments. If you believe in yourself, I promise you, you will get through anything, even the very hardest moments, the scariest health issues, the toughest news, the worst heartbreaks and losses. If you believe in yourself, you can do all of it. Um, and believing in yourself, to me also it doesn't have to be a big show you know like you don't have to let people know i mean you can congratulate yourself for doing the hard thing but you can just i hate i hate the motorcycles oh my god die you know what song i have stuck in my head that i feel like is kind of relevant right now as I'm preaching about you believing in yourself because I believe in every single one of my viewers and I think you're all lovely lovely people and I want you to feel that love from through the screen and permeate your skin and brain that sounds creepy and goes directly to your heart so that you can start believing in yourself um which I, I'm like rambling again but I'm ignoring the fucking motorcycles I'm fucking ignoring them I hate them so goddamn much what is he doing he's just sitting there making noise I'm gonna lose my mind Day, but you just can't all right we're on the next floor i don't even remember what i was saying i had to stop for a second i was singing jordan sparks we don't know what's going on for real believing yourself deeply the hardest i think honestly the biggest thing i've learned is that the heart like the hardest challenge i ever go through is doing the things i know that are right for me my mental health in the bad times you can create new neuronal pathways at any age, even if it gets a little bit harder, with just repetition and consistency. But if you continue to give your brain the wrong signals and you tell your brain the wrong things, you will reaffirm and strengthen those existing neural pathways that are harming you right now as we speak. So for example, if you have anxiety about going in an elevator and you go, well, I'll just take the stairs today because I took the elevator yesterday and you know, whatever. That's going to reaffirm to your brain that there's something scary about the elevator and that you can't take it. With emetophobia, this is extremely prevalent, and it's something that makes recovery so hard is because you have to choose the hard thing, like, every time. Obviously, you can slip up and bounce back. I mean, they don't expect you to be fucking perfect because it's not possible. It's not real. But you want to try to sit in the discomfort and take the road of uncertainty as much as you can. Um, and that's with all anxiety, because at the end of the day, the only way to prove to yourself that you don't have to be scared about XYZ is to do it. 
to do things around it, to do triggers and exposures that are frequent and uh, the right duration and the right intensity. So you wanna do frequent, good intensity, uh, good amount of time exposures. This was fucking impossible. So that you can actually get better. You don't wanna do too much and then render yourself like unable to function because you terrified yourself by going on 16 elevators and one of them, you know, whatever, skipped or something. We'll take this, we're just gonna take both. We're gonna get out because it should still be open. Nice. And then we're gonna take Freezer Baby because honestly, Euthanasia is great, but Freezer Baby is so powerful and underrated in my opinion. And then we're gonna skadoodle out of here. Anyways, I'm yapping and rambling, but I do like talking to you guys. And honestly, it's so fun to share little tips and things that I find reason like useful, reasonable, huh? Useful and uh, usable and I don't know, I find exciting because I just love mental health progress and talking about it always ends up igniting a spark in me to continue to try. And I've had a horrible, horrible, horrible day. So being able to sit back and go, nah, I really want to try again. Like, I really want to do this. I want to try again. See, this is where that fucking flight card would have been good. I forget what I was saying because I got some test results back from my heart monitor and it actually came back really good, guys. So that's really good. I definitely have palpitations and things and sinus arrhythmia, but that's all normal um, and a otherwise healthy heart. So for the week, it was good. I just like the videos where people talk. Like if I'm watching dinner, huh? Honestly, with an eating disorder, that's kind of fucking accurate. If I'm eating dinner, watching something, or I guess if I'm watching something, this is the video. Can I speak? Like, what the fuck am I on about? If I'm eating dinner, washing dishes, doing something useful, or, you know, whatever, I like to just listen to people talk. Like, I, I watch podcasts and things, and to maybe be that gal, you know what I mean? Like, to maybe be the person that you're just listening to while you play Isaac or you do something like homework or studying or cleaning or whatever the fuck you're doing. Oh my God, I yap too hard. Whatever you're doing is just like a, it's a pipe dream for me, but it's a dream. Anyways, guys, I hope you had fun watching. I'm sorry I died. Guys, we gotta get a win in here. Like, I feel like I'm really fucking struggling to win the game, which is so weird to me because when I play off of YouTube, I almost always win like very rarely do i die so it's it's really weird i gotta figure out what's going on like i think like i gotta get like a good camera set up so i can play on my couch on my like big tv and figure out how i can like screen record that so you guys can see me in my natural habitat because maybe i'll actually win a run um thank you so much for watching leave a like comment subscribe i know it's a low-key video today but i just needed a little bit of a break so i appreciate you guys being so patient loving and kind to me all the time i literally love every single one of you the growth has been fantastic and i'm so happy to have my youtube channel and happy to see you guys every time i see names and comments that i usually recognize and things it just makes my heart fill with joy so thank you again i hope you have a lovely rest of your tuesday did i say monday earlier because it is tuesday be safe it's been nika bye